Hello fellow Linux gamers, this is Keith here, aka GoSquad57, and today I'm looking at Energy Hook and seeing how well it uh, w runs with the Steam controller. Now the developer sent me a Steam key for the game and said, you know, he feels that the Steam controller is sort of a perfect pairing with his game. Um, he told me he just, you know, wanted me to take a look at it and see how well the uh, game works with the controller. And I can definitely say after uh, playing uh, the game with the controller, as you can see I have 99 minutes in, um, on the right side there, you can see that. Uh, I definitely say that the controller is vastly superior played with a Steam controller than playing with a standard gamepad like an Xbox 360 controller, for example. Because um, with an Xbox 360 controller, you know, once your analog stick hits that dead zone, that's sort of it. You just sort of have to hold it there, and then your aim just sort of slowly adjusts over, and it's not really precise. But with the Steam controller, you know, you can hit that dead zone, come back, and keep doing more and more swipes. Um, and it just, you know, it just works much, much better. Um, you know, it really allows you to do 180 and then do another one, you know, do a complete 360 very quickly. Um, anyway, yeah, so looking at the uh, store page for this game real quick, then go ahead and bring it up. The first thing that caught my eye when looking at the description of this game is that uh, it says under the About This Game section that this game is from the inventor. Oh, video is playing there. This game is from the inventor of the highly acclaimed web swinging moment movement in Spider-Man 2. Now that's actually very interesting because I did play uh, Spider-Man 2 uh, I think it was on the GameCube and I could definitely say that this game has a similar feeling but anyway yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into the game. One annoying thing about this game, it is a Unity game so you know with every Unity game the Unity launcher has to be launched when you uh, sort of play the game. Um, as you can see here the game uh, is running but uh, Steam it's not uh, it's running under the steam big picture so I have to hit my shortcut here and sort of put the game to a new uh, workplace on my Linux desktop this is an arch Linux system I am playing this game on using the i3 window manager <coughs> so that's sort of an annoying issue but other than that you know the game runs fine and you know here's the main menu here it is a little rough looking but this is an early access game and it is also unity so yeah I mean it gets the job done really uh, you have some basic things here, like you can tune your gear, uh, change, you know, if you want uh, if you want your jet back to be charged jump jets, which is where instead of hitting the jump button to jump, you can sort of hold it and then let go to do a, a, a sort of burst instead of hovering. Um, you can change your power, you know, and then you can come over to Energy Hook here and change uh, some settings about it. Um, very uh, basic stuff. I like to put the minimum distance up pretty high. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and go back to main menu. You can also see like leaderboards, you know, see how quickly people have uh, completed different challenges and stuff like that, you know. Uh, you have stats, you know, your own personal statistics. Uh, you can reset your progress, which is an interesting option. Uh, unlock backer rewards in case you did back this game on uh, Kickstarter. I think it was this game was uh, on. And you can also, you know, you have a give feedback button over here and uh, you can also be notified of updates. Um, it is always interesting to see like a give feedback button because that shows that the developer, you know, is really uh, sort of advertising the fact that you know he does listen to his uh, does listen to the community, which is always good. And you have six different uh, maps here, and uh, yeah, with each maps you have a variety of different challenges, and each map uh, there's also like teleporters that will bring you to VR missions. So yeah, there's a lot of mission, there's a lot of levels that are sort of uncounted for. Yeah, this is the first area here. And yeah, and this is Energy Hook. As you can see right off the bat, it looks like Spider-Man 2 web slinging. Um, and I can definitely say that it's very fun. The uh, sense of speed and momentum you get when slinging around uh, is, is definitely very fun. See here, you you know you have a you have a real sense of speed and momentum. Um, oh, I just activated a challenge, so let's sort of do this real quick. Oh. Wipe out. <laughs> that was a little weird. That shouldn't have happened. Okay, let's do this properly this time. Jump, sling. There we go. Oh. Yeah, so uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, the controls for this game is you have A that jumps, uh, X, Y, B, A are for tricks. So if you want to do like a cannonball or something you just sort of press that midair um, also left grip here is also mapped to jumping uh, 
the uh, trackpad here is mapped to the D-pad so that when you are in air you can sort of hit it to uh, pivot and uh, also turn while in midair or wipe out if you're horrible at it. Uh, then I have the uh, right trackpad here for mouse movement because I do feel that uh, using the right trackpad for mouse movement is much more precise than using it for analog movement and you can really do those quick turnarounds like that fairly quickly. So yeah, you know, overall the controller just works really well for this game. As you can see, I'm zipping around with uh, not too much issue. Now one thing I did uh, change around is because I find it awkward, like when I go to do a trick, I like to do the trick as well as uh, sort of pivot like that, or do a flip, um, and I just find that having to move my thumb between the analog stick and the trackpad is very awkward. So what I did was, I, uh, as you can see here, when I open up the um, overlay, go to configure controller, I do have this configuration in the uh, community, so yeah, if you guys want to use this, feel free to, I have it labeled and everything. But uh, what I did was, um, I have the uh, right grip button here set so that when I hit it, the uh, left joystick turns into the directional movements, turns into the D-pad movements basically. So that way um, I can actually do movements without um, having to move my thumb, like, like right there, you see. I can go ahead and do a flip and stuff like that without having to move my thumb off of the uh, stick and going to the... Um, trackpad, I've left trackpad. I find that to be a lot less awkward overall and it sort of lets me go a lot quicker with my movements and stuff as you can see there. Um, so yeah, you know, I just jump, jump, sling, hit that and then I can let go of it to put me back into movement. Very, uh, I definitely feel like that works a lot better than using the trackpad because once again, I, I just have more control, you know, I don't have to, uh, sort of do this, do the flip, and be like, oh crap, and then, you know, overshoot or undershoot because I wasn't really uh, quick enough to move between the two. Um, and that is the reason why, you know, the controller plays fast. After, you know, especially after doing that trick right there for uh, D-pad movement, uh, it's definitely a lot better than a controller because with a controller, it's sort of mandatory that you have to switch between the two like that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've been running into these challenge uh, beacons here. And these are in every level. This is the first level, so they're really basic. Like that one was just do a clean swing, which is just do a sling without swing without sort of bumping into anything. Um, and then you have these little teleporters here, which bring you to VR challenges. Uh, before I talk about the VR challenges, there is one annoying issue with this game that, once again, I find is a common with every Unity game. If I keep sort of aiming at a certain point, the uh, camera will stop moving, and it'll sort of, I can't move right anymore. I have to sort of move left. And then that's sort of annoying. Like, like if I do that the mouse too, once I move to a certain point the mouse just sort of stops moving to, in that direction. Very annoying thing, it's very common with Unity games, um, I've noticed. Uh, but yeah, you know, here's an example of one of the VR training areas. Whoa! Yeah, as you can see, you know, the amount of speed is bonkers. Oh. It's very fun. Whoa! Overshot it? No! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> See, it does take a little bit of time to sort of get used to the feel of the game, but um, once you uh, get used to the momentum and stuff, it's very fun. Yeah, you also use the uh, up and down on the D-pad to uh, sort of reel yourself up and down when you're um, swinging, so you know. Once again, I just I can just do this, and it sort of brings me up, slowly reels me up, and hit it down to slowly reel me down. You know, I can also just hit the uh, right bumper and then just hold analog stick up. It's just another useful thing of having the uh, right bumper assigned to that function. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this teleporter out, go back to the uh, starting area. I'm gonna go to the uh, go down this teleporter here, which will bring me to a sort of city location. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely interested to see how the developer sort of fleshes out this mechanic and uh, adds new uh, design, uh, adds new um, sort of challenges to the game and sort of see how he can make this into a full-fledged game because this is a very fun mechanic. Um, oh, that just feels so good right there. When you sort of latch to a building and do a wide swing like that. Um, it feels very good. Yeah, this is the area that teaches you how to wall run as well. So if you hit the right bumper, you can wall run. So that's fun. Another thing you can do is if you hit the uh, left trigger, you can boost. So yeah, that's a thing. But I don't, I don't really find myself using it that much. Um, 
it gets depleted, de depleted fairly quickly. You can uh, recharge your boost meter by doing tricks. Um, but I, I don't know, I just don't find myself using it that much in general. So yeah, as you can see, the, gun, the game is just very fun. Woo! Yeah, and once you get used to it, it's just a lot of fun playing this game. And, and like I said, it's exceptionally uh, fun experience playing with the Steam controller over a uh, standard gamepad. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, it's always fun wiping out in this game, how the character sort of ragdolls like that. It's a lot of fun. This would be a fun game to have sort of a mul some sort of multiplayer in, like, you know, have a, a racing mechanic or something like that. Or you have to race other players. Oh, it's real fun going all the bri under the bridges. Oh, I like going on the bridges. This is fun. Woo! So, you know, just a really basic mechanic, you know, really basic idea, but it just works so well. And it, you can tell the developer really did a, uh, spent a fair bit of time fine tweaking it so it feels just right. Like, just the sort of way you come to a stop and your character just sort of falls like that. It just feels really good. It has a real sense of momentum. Yeah, and even on ground, your character still runs fairly quickly. So yeah, I mean, overall, the game just runs really well with the Steam Controller. Like, I don't really have any major complaints, especially after doing the uh, right buffer trick. I mean, after doing that, you know, it's a very fun experience. I should wall run more. Yeah, there we go. Instead of just bumping into things like I've been, you know, you can wall run to sort of remedy that situation. So you don't just bump on things. There's a there's a bunch of challenges in this area that I'm sort of skipping over. That's because I just want to show you guys sort of uh, free exploring around the area. Oh, that feels that felt like a really good swing right there. Yeah, and I mean this is uh this is Energy Hook. It's definitely a very fun game. You know, I really uh, I am going to check up on this game every now and again whenever there's an update just to sort of see what type of uh, new features the developer has added and uh, stuff like that, you know, sort of keep my eye on this game, watch the progress. So yeah, that's uh, that's Energy Hook. And then one thing I would like to mention is that if you are playing this game with a Steam controller or with a keyboard and mouse, I recommend unchecking the follow cam option. That's really an option for uh, players with, of a gamepad. So yeah, you know, it's better just use the, um, turn that option off and just use the trackpad alone for the camera. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the uh, that's the game right there, and uh, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun with the uh, Steam controller. Um, you know, like I said, vastly superior to a gamepad in my opinion. You know, because you don't have to, you know, with that right uh, grip trick, I don't have to switch between you know my thumbs and the D-pad, and it's just a really smooth experience. Uh, anyway, yeah, that has been Energy Hook. Uh, thanks to the developer for uh, giving me a key, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Ghost Clock Fifty Seven. Signing out.